can give you a better understanding of the topic. When you read two texts on the same topic, remember to compare and contrast their most important points and key details. When you compare, you look at how the texts are alike. When you contrast, you look at how they are different. Now, what I want you guys to do now is get ready to respond in the chat box. And I want you to tell me what are some words we can use to compare and contrast? What are some clue words that we can use to compare and contrast? For example, a clue word that we use to compare is alike. And a clue word that we use to contrast is different. So when we are trying to compare and contrast, but when we are trying to look at how things are alike or different, what are some clue words you might use? And I'm looking in the chat box for your responses. If you're having trouble typing, you can unmute yourself and let me know. Both. Okay, Jaden says, Jaden Johnson says both. Good job. So, so are you using both to compare or are you using both to contrast? Same. Good job, Damani. <clears throat> okay, are, is that a, are these clue words that we use to compare? Okay, good. Compare. So what are some clue words? that you can use to contrast or tell how things are different. So you guys said both, same. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, who's this? Anthony. Hi, Anthony. Okay, Hi. look in the, ch um, right now what we're doing in the chat box, you're responding to what are some words we can use to compare and contrast? And I'm going to mute you, okay? Okay. What are some words we can use to compare and contrast? So you guys said both, same, alike, okay? I see Zainab saying oh, unlike, Damani also agrees. So these are some two words that you guys can use to compare and contrast. So comparing words. You can say both, similar or same, also or two, like and alike, or in common. These words you're using to compare, you're using to show what two things have in common. Contrasting words, however, not alike, differ, different, instead, or on the other hand, you use these words to compare contrast or tell how two things are different from one another. So we're, we're going to be watching a video that will might mention those clue words that we just went over. And Ms. Hubbard, if you could let me know if you can hear or not. Um, I know earlier we were having a little bit of trouble. Yes, we can hear. Okay, thank you. So as you're watching the video, I want you guys to notice what clue words is the girl using? What clue words is the girl using? Are there any new clue words that we didn't already mention? Or are there the same clue words? What clue words is she using to compare and contrast? Wow, did you know that the bull shark has 50 rows of t teeth? Bull sharks use their sharp teeth to bite and tear fish, turtles, and other prey. When a tooth breaks, another one moves into its place. You're reading about dolphins? Cool, dolphins also have sharp teeth, but unlike bull sharks, they don't use them to tear their food. Instead, dolphins grab and swallow their prey whole. You're right, Moby. Sharks and dolphins are alike in some ways and different in others. Looks like we need to play... Sharks versus... 
Francis Lopez. How do you compare? When you compare, you show how two or more things are alike. You describe how they're similar. Let's see. Guitars and basses are musical instruments. They both have strings and a neck. A guitar can be very loud. A bass can be too. When you compare things, you think about what they have in common. All right, Moby, are you ready to play? Sharks versus dolphins. Here we go. How are sharks and dolphins alike? Right. They're both animals. Yes, sharks can live in the ocean, and dolphins can too. What else do they have in common? Think about how they look and act. Both animals can be gray and white. Yep, they're predators. That means both sharks and dolphins hunt other animals for food. Certain clue words let you know that two or more things are being compared. The words like, alike, same, also, two, both, similar, in common, and the same as can signal comparisons. Now it's time for round two. How are dolphins and sharks different? How do you contrast? When you contrast, you show how two or more things are different. You describe how things are not alike. Let's see. That guitar has six strings, but the bass has four strings. The guitar can play high notes. <laughs> However, the bass plays much lower notes. Are you ready? Let's play Sharks versus Dolphins. Okay, Moby, how are sharks and dolphins different? Right, Moby, sharks are fish, but Dolphins are mammals. Right again. Dolphins and sharks breathe differently. Sharks breathe through gills, while dolphins use lungs to breathe. Here on a roll, Moby. Sharks make no sound. Dolphins, on the other hand, click, squeak, and whistle. They use these sounds to communicate and find their way around. Certain clues let you know that two or more things are being contrasted. The words different, differ, difference, unlike, although, even though, instead, however, and on the other hand, can signal that the writer is pointing out differences. How do you compare and contrast when you read? Okay, we're going to stop the video here. <clears throat> and, and we're going to do a little activity where you're going to read um, a short passage, and then you're going to compare and contrast the information in the passage. So, this is how we're going to do it. Just like in social studies, when you guys put the waving emoji, if you have an answer, um, if you have an answer, you're going to put the waving emoji, and then I'm going to call on you, and you can unmute yourself and tell me the answer, okay?
So, use the text to compare and contrast pumpkins and apples. Pumpkins are often thought of as vegetables, but they are actually fruits, like apples. Pumpkins are as popular as apples when it comes to making delicious pies. However, for a quick snack, an apple is a better choice because you can eat an apple's skin. So, fruits. Are pumpkins a fruit, apples a fruit, or both? If you have an answer, put the waving emoji so I can call on you. Use the text. Look, look for that keyword, fruits. Which one is a fruit, or are they both fruits? Zenab, unmute yourself. Tell me, pumpkins, apples, or both? Apples. Okay, she says apples. Let's look back into the text. Riley, can you give me an answer? Is it just apples, or is it both? Both. Both. Good. Because, how do you know that, Riley? Because it said in the um in the text. What's your evidence? Pumpkins are often thought of as vegetables, but they are actually fruits like apples. Good job. So this first sentence tells us that pumpkins are fruits, and you see that clue word, like apples. Remember, like is a clue word used to compare or show how things are the same or similar. I'm going to call on Jaden. Thank you, Bradley. Um, good for a quick snack. Pumpkins, apples, or both? Jaden Johnson. Unmute yourself and tell me, pumpkins, apples, or both? Good for a quick snack. Um, I don't think you're, I remember your something is wrong with your mic, so you can just type it, Jaden. You tell me, pumpkins, apples, or both? Because even when you unmute yourself, I can't hear you. Apples, good, because in this last sentence here, it says, however, for a quick snack, an apple is a better choice. Remember that clue word, however, shows how you can contrast something, how are the two things different. Good job. Okay, next one. Use the text to compare and contrast the story of the little red hen and the three little pigs. The little red hen is about a hen who makes bread all by herself. In contrast, the three little pigs is about three pigs and a scary wolf. These fables have important lessons. The hen story teaches the importance of hard work. On the other hand, the pig story teaches us to be smart and careful. Hmm, I saw a lot of cool words in this um, short text here. Okay, again, put the wave emoji. Tells a story about a scary wolf. Is that the little red hen or the three little pigs? Isaiah, unmute yourself and tell me. Little three pigs. Good. The three little pigs. Now, has a lesson about hard work. Damani, is that the little red hen or the three little pigs? She says the three little pigs. Hmm, I'm not sure. Um, Zenab, tell me, is it the three little pigs or the little red hen? How, how do you know? 